There we go. Hi, I'm Tiana. I'm from Lincoln Southwest. Stop! Now slam! And this is my poem, Petals and Thorns. The rose symbolizes both love and fear. Complete opposites, yet they exist in the same space. Love is the petals. Love, a noun, an intense emotion of deep affection. Fear is the thorns. Fear, a noun, an unpleasant emotion caused by the idea that someone or something is likely to cause pain or a threat. I am a firm believer that the opposite of love is not hate, but fear. The door, the dividing line between these two is trust. Do you love someone enough to open the door, or do you fear that so much you keep it bolted shut? Fear is one of the most powerful things. War is a great example of this. You attack first because you're afraid of getting attacked. But love, love is blinding. I have a friend that lets people use her because she can't even see it. She is so blinded by the idea of love, and people use that against her. Blind love is what happens when you hold a flower by the petals. You shouldn't ever hold a flower by the petals. Love can drown in fear. Fear being in control is what happens when you grip the flower by the thorns. You see, love is a bargain deal, one, but you have to pay for two. To have the beauty of love without killing it, you must hold the rose by the thorns and understand that it is going to hurt. And you get to decide if the benefits are worth the risks. Love and fear used to work together on the same side of that door, the trust. I wonder how that worked, how the love was, how the rose was held without drawing blood. Fear used to be a protector until it decided to make love a prisoner, locking love on the other side of that door. Fear is running the show. You are gripping the thorns, but that doesn't make fear a villain. No, fear was just an angel that fell too far from the clouds. Fear had good intentions, but the bad thing about intentions is they're often left unspoken. Love was trapped in fear's protection. A prison by another name is still a prison. Love no longer got the light to grow. The flower shriveled up and died. Fear is the only thing that the more light it absorbs, the darker it gets. Fear, the fallen angel, was now only a siphon. This war inside with both love and fear pointing guns at one another only makes us miserable. Having the door wide open is ignorant. Having the door tightly sealed is lonely. When one shoots, they both bleed. They can't be on opposing sides. How do you hold a rose without damaging the petals or bleeding from the thorns? It's not the petals. It's not the thorns. It's the rose. You can't hold it at all. You must keep it planted for it to grow.